let's take another problem on grouped frequency distribution. The marks obtained by various students of a class are as under. Prepare a grouped frequency distribution using class size of 16 such that the mid please ignore this value of first class is 28. Now if you see this basically the size of the class will prepare the table on this side and do the workings on the left hand side. So you are given that the class size is equal to 16 and the mid value of first class is equal to 28. Right? Now what is the mid value? Let us say you have a class of 20 is to 30. The mid value is the value which lies in the bottom of or sorry in the middle of these two numbers. And to find that what do you do? What is this? This is the lower limit. This is the upper limit. Okay. So when you talk about mid value, mid value is basically equal to lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. Right? Or otherwise, so let us say if this was 20 and 30, I am just giving you an example and then we will come to the actuals. 20 plus 30 divided by 2 is equal to 50 divided by 2 or 25. Now, if you notice 25 can also be written as 20 plus 5 or 30 minus 5 right where and if you notice 5 is what 5 is basically equal to the difference between these two numbers so upper limit minus lower limit divided by 2 which is 30 minus 20 divided by 2 5 so the mid value or 25 can also be written as lower limit plus difference divided by 2 okay or upper limit minus difference divided by 2 right so when you know that the mid value of the first class is 28 right and the difference between these two is 16. Class size is what? This is basically upper limit minus lower limit. Right? Now let me just clean this. Right? So applying the same logic, the mid value of the first class is 28. So we can say that 28 is equal to lower limit plus class size divided by 2 right or lower limit plus 16 divided by 2 which is 8 hence the lower limit is equal to 28 minus 8 is equal to 20. Similarly for the upper limit I mean you can easily find out because you can now add this class size to the lower limit and get the upper limit. It can be lower limit plus class size is equal to 20 plus 16, 36. So therefore, now we can write down that the marks are in the range of 20 to 36. Okay. 36 then add 16 which is the class size to this 52 52 to 68 68 to 84 84 to 100 
So you've got the various class sizes. The rest is more than easy. So the only catch here was that if you have the mid value and you know the class size, how can you find out the first and the second class? Once you get that, then basically you can cover this up. I stopped at 100 because the marks cannot be more than 100, at least in this case. So start knocking off 21, 34, 27, 45, 35, 46, 78, 90, 87, 65, 78, 23, 67, 68. Now we will keep it here. 89, 45, 36, 45, 78 and 76. So the So the only thing which we needed to know here was, I will just write it down, mid value is equal to lower limit plus class size divided by 2 or upper limit minus class size divided by 2. 